these equations using substitution. So these are the exact same two problems from the intro to substitution. What we're going to do is we're going to substitute the value for y. So we're going to isolate for y and then take that value we understand. So we understand that y is equal to 6x minus 11. So now in the other equation we can plug in 6x minus 11 instead of y. So if we write it out we would get negative 2x minus 3 times y but instead of y it's now 6x minus 11 is equal to negative 7. And now we can just distribute and get our answer for what is x. Solve for x. Alright, so if we were to distribute, we can multiply this negative 3 to both of these equations right here. We have negative 2x, and then negative 3 times 6x is minus 18x, and then negative 3 times negative 11 is 33, is equal to negative 7. Now we can combine these two, negative 2x minus 18x, those are like terms, so we're going to combine them. That answer is going to be negative 20x. And then we have this plus 33 is equal to negative 7. The next step we can do is we're going to minus 33 on both sides, so that we're isolating for x, we're getting x by itself. So if we minus 33, negative 7 and negative 33 would be negative 40 is equal to negative 20x. All right, what times negative 20 equals 40? Well, let's pretend we don't know. And we're going to divide by the opposite of times 20 is divide by 20. And if we divide negative by negative, that will be a positive. And 40 divided by 20 is 2. So x is 2, and we're like, yeah, we're done. But we're not. We have to plug in to the, one of the original equations and check. So we're going to take this 2, and we're going to substitute it back into one of these problems. Let's substitute it into the first one. y is equal to 6 times x minus 11. But instead of x, we're going to have 2 now. So we're going to put a 2. We rewrite the equations. y equals 6 times 2 minus 11. So 6 times 2 is 12. So y will equal 1. So this solution set will equal 2 comma 1. So these two equations will cross and their crossing point would be 2 comma 1. That's it. This is how we solve via substitution for problem number 1. Now let's do problem number 2. I'll give you a few seconds. Alright. We're going to do problem number 2 now. We have 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 1. Well that's standard form. Don't really like that. And then we have y equals x minus 1. Now, one of these equations is already isolated. One of the variables is already isolated, so we half the work is already done. So whenever we see y equals x minus 1, we understand, hey, we can take this, solu this answer, plug it into this one right here. We could substitute. So we can write it out as 2x minus 3 times y will equal negative 1. And y says right here is x minus 1. All right, our next step is to distribute. And so if we multiply this negative 3 to the x and negative 3 to the negative 1, we will get 2x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3, negative times negative is a positive, and then we have this equals negative 1. Now we can combine like terms. 2x minus 3x will be negative x, and then we have plus 3 is equal to negative 1. Alright, so now we could 
get rid of this 3 right here. The opposite of plus 3 is minus 3 on both sides. And negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 is equal to negative x. Yeah, we solved it. We solved for x. N not really. We have to solve for x, not negative x. So we can times by negative 1 on both sides. And we get x is equal to 4. And once again, a solution set for a linear, a system of linear equations is a coordinate point. And a coordinate point has two values, an x and a y. So we have one of the x's, we have the x. Now we need the y value. I'm going to plug it back into this slope-intercept form. y is equal to x minus 1. So I know that y is equal to something minus 1. And that something will be 4, because if x equals 4, then x equals 4. I can substitute 4 for x. Next part, 4 minus 1 is 3. So y equals 3. So where they intersect will be 4, 3. Make sure you put the x, then the y. Alright, thank you for being with me to solve this via substitution.